All right, so before I do, um, I route everything to my all drums aux track, I need to print back my kick and snare, which I have put out onto the board, did some EQ, and I've processed them in the, you know, with the transient designer. Printing back is easy because you're literally just printing back off of the stereo bus. I'm going to solo the kicks that, there, I'm going to do that. And I'll know that I routed these sounds out for processing. I'm printing off the stereo bus from the board, just making some adjustments here. Once I have my levels, I'll just print back. And then I'm going to do the same with the snares so I can get that in and Awesome. Before I route all my drums to the drum uh, bus, uh, print back what I've done on the board with the kick and the snares. And even though I have both kicks and all the snares going out two channels, I'm going to print them back um, one by one so that I have, you know, flexibility with them in, in the future. So I'm going to just solo it one by one. I'm going to label kick B stem. So I'm basically going to just do each one one by one and everything that I'm printing back is going to have all the processing that I did on the board for the EQ and um, what I've done on the transient, the SPL transient designer. People ask me like, why, you know, why do you decide to um, use the board? It, it, it's such a lengthy process. You can't put a mark on on art it's a tool so I use the board as you know another tool all the plugins are tools you know I have all this outboard gear behind me those are my tools and if I have the ability to do it I have a studio then why not it literally adds a different texture a different color a different warmth that I'm not able to get or you know I'm just looking specifically like with this record in particular I want it to have a more warmer sounding sound because of the homage that it's, that it's paying to the music from, from back then. For me, it was a no-brainer that I would want to use the board heavily and use the outboard gear and just kind of, you know, bring both, both elements, all the elements involved, you know. It's, it's, it's a mix that's being done on the analog board and it's being done in Pro Tools. So once I'm done, I have all the stems that I have printed back, my stems, kicks, my snares, claps. Awesome. So we have everything. And this is what they sound like. Very simple. Everything is exactly how I, how I process them and sounds good. Now let's bring in the rest of the drums. So now what I'm going to do is route all of these drums into this drum bus, an all drums bus. This allows me to continue mixing within the box. So it's a hybrid, like I'm basically mixing on the board, but I'm bringing it back in the box and I'm continuing the process and so forth. So let me, 61, 62. Awesome, so everything is here. And as you can see, the drum bus is being routed out into my pre-master. Right now, I don't have anything on my pre-master. My master, nothing's on here. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that alone for now um, and just bring in the other elements and do the same with all the other elements. So with, uh, you know, the samples, I'm going to use an all music bus. So I'm going to route all this music same way I did the drums. Because these uh, transitional rises are coming into a, its own aux, I'm not going to change, obviously, the output here. I'm going to change the output on the aux. Same thing, 63, 64. Every sound um, that's considered music is going into this music bus. And the same with the guitars. <laughs> So everything is coming out.
Now from here, I like to do um, an overall, I love to add just like more compression just to kind of really make the music stand out. So on both of these buses, I'm going to add a Neve uh, 33609 from UA. <laughs> This is like that really brings like that extra sauce on the on the drums that really make them hit by bypass. Do the same. Same on this one. I don't want it compressing too much. I want it to breathe, so it's not about like really over compressing it. It's just allowing it to um, give it more presence and without it feeling like it's being squashed. Play with the gain and see how that all sounds with the kicks. I'm gonna bring down these guitars a little bit. And so at this point, like I feel like I'm in a great place with the music. And I'm gonna move on to vocals.